Hey guys, and welcome to two random matches in one. So, two in one. And it is with the T34. And like the random match before it, it is not only about how great of a credits earner, maker it is, but uh, also in the end I found something quite funny and uh, interesting. And we'll talk about that when we get to the end of the second match. But here we are on Karelia. And as always, I'm going on the right side. Because in the T34 you can use the, um, the hold down mode to be very effective over here. So I always think that it's the best thing for me to do in, in this tank in particular. To go this way. And see, we get a little few tanks spotted. Can't hit the EMX AC. Um, both Tiger and M6 stop. I think the Tiger stopped and the M6 hammered into it. And I decided to shoot at the M6 because, well, he was in the back. I don't know really why. Any other reason? Mm, a Tiger P pops out. I have more than 200 penetration on this gun so I can easily shoot him in the front and penetrate with no problem whatsoever. An IS-3 comes into my crosshair but because of my third person view I could only hit his <coughs> yeah, see him through the uh, first person. I zoom in here, if the tiger had moved just a little bit more couldn't have hit him but he stays put, I don't know what he was aiming for but I get a good shot on him 367, not that great of a shot actually, when my average is way lower. And I did 442, we couldn't really see it, but I hit him straight in the Cobola. That was a great shot, <laughs> pretty lucky too. Uh, I think I go for him here and see, no, couldn't. And I aimed into the ground because either I was going to hit straight on or hit the ground, or it would fly a little bit over, and I actually counted on it flying a little bit over. And it did, but I didn't hit it. And here I just wait and see if this guy retreats. If he does, then my teammates can save a bullet up there. Shell. But he doesn't. And we move on to the Tiger P, which is sitting right there. I think I take a shot just for fun. Yep. And I hit him. <laughs> Insane. It went high again. And um, sometimes you just gotta take the risk. If you don't take the risks of these shells, then sometimes you um, you miss out on, on great shots like that. And I really like that shot, so of course I took it. Yep, track or ammo rack. Fix track or fix the ammo rack. Definitely fix the ammo rack, because if you would fixed the track, then you would have been able to shoot like once every... 30 seconds? That's not very productive. I just get out here and take a shot on the, the side. I wouldn't have cared if he would have gotten me in, uh, in the side and did more damage, but luckily he um, gets me the tracks. IS-3 has faster reload time than the, uh, the T-34, even though the T-34 fired for it. Interesting. Uh, I didn't really get that. We see here the uh, the M6 is actually giving us hints to what is going to happen because we are indeed going to lose on cap because they have a lot of small, fast Chinese tanks on the enemy team and they're all coming around the west side and that will be not my downfall. I'm I'm here for the credits. Whenever I'm in a tank, I'm just doing the best I can. I'm not worrying about the win or the loss. If we lose, so be it. I did mine, and um, there's not not any um, any real um, credits or XP that I can gain. I take a shot there. If I had hit him, he would have been lower HP for my teammates to get. But as you can see, we're all just pushing forward, and I think I'm right here. And just a second, then that they should just push as hard as they that they should just push as hard as they as they can because they're in our base right now. And if they don't push as hard as they can and just go into the cap and just sit there, we're going to lose because I know this. 
I know this. I've seen way too many battles. Push to the cap. Don't stop to take pictures. That's what I write. And um, get a shot in on the uh, T25 AT. And I think the T20 finishes him off. Nope, he shot at the third man. But um, the T25 AT dies to something in just a second. The T69 and our base dies. There's only artillery left now. And the T20 gets into the cap zone. Hooray! Good. We've started capping way before they have. Not way before. It's only five. But uh, you see the Ferdinand going to uh, reset if he can, but I don't think he can. And here we see the T20 going out of the cap zone. He would have been at 15 about now. And then our other tanks get into the cap zone. Yep. But as you can see, the enemy is also capping now. And we should just stay there. Stay there with three tanks. Oops, now they have two. And we lose. Because they have they they got three tanks in there. But anyways, we move on to the next game. I'll show the scores after this game, remember that. And this is on Siegfried Line, a tank that I really, really, really like because of the city. Because the city is always there. The place where the battles take place. Even if there's a field on the left. Someone will always go to the field, but don't ever go to the field if you're in a heavy tank. I never go there if I'm in a medium tank. Because it's just too open and I have too little things to do out there. Too 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 little to do. It's too boring out there. I can do much more in here. And yep. You saw a KB5 over there. I try and side scrape here so he takes a shot. I have been spotted, so I just keep on doing it. Because at some point he will fire. When he can see me. And it's just a matter of time. Let's see. There's an IS3. And I side scrape a little bit back. IS3 hits me in the track, of course. But that wasn't the dude that I was trying to side script for. That was the KB5, and he hit me, uh, hit the the dirt. So he wasn't going to hurt me at all. A little bit comes out, and I go a little bit back, and there we see it. KB5 tracked me, fixed the track just to get out there. Uh, make a little bit of mistake there. He will have reloaded right by now. So I decided to focus on the Black Prince instead. I bounce on the Black Prince, something I actually do pretty often, and it's actually annoying the living hell out of me. The KB-5 comes out, and I decide to give him a shot right in the front, in that little thing he has down in the front, and I get a great damage roll by 473. Now the enemy is pushing, and I can just sit here and actually take a shot at them. Uh, and I'm going to track this Löwe who isn't really aware of where I am and where I'm hitting him from. He's just caring about the things that are in front. Oh, in the sky as well. Maybe to his right. I don't really know. His track gets fixed. And he should have just kept S held down. So he would have reversed straight out of that situation and not get tracked again. I think he used the repair kit because he fixed. He got fixed pretty fast. I think he's seen me. I put another shell into him. And then I decided to go here. And here we go, with the Black Prince again. Maybe I'm just... I'm aiming at the wrong parts, but I'm scared of the front and the sides of this thing. So I shoot at this, the turret, and I shoot two... T as you can see, I had to go out there and see where the hell did I hit that. And I hit him straight on the top of the turret. And since he doesn't have a Kubola, I didn't uh, penetrate him. I focus and aim for a long time before I hit him straight on and get him for 463 so that was a good good shot when I finally just took my time I decided to just back up here because I'm not sure if I can hit these guys I can and I just wait here I, should know it. Okay. I take a snapshot um, after having fully relo uh, fully aimed and then when you move then your uh, reticle is still fairly small so uh, I shot and here I can't see if I can see the, uh, the T29 so I got, got into the, the third person view then you can uh, see if you can find the um, 
the silhouette of the tank. And if you can't see the silhouette, then you can't see the tank. So, yep, that's me driving into an indestructible object and not getting out here in time to do any damage, I think. <laughs> or maybe I will. No, the IS-3. And I think, and I'm just going, nah, I'm not even going to look. Okay, he didn't penetrate him, so... Damn it, KB-5! <laughs> I had my moment! Then we see a KB-3, and I just decide to take a shot at him, because we are winning pretty big. And he's just AFK, 3 XP credits just sitting there. Should have shot at this KB-3. For as you can see, I hit the KB-3 over there. We just saw that he took a little bit of damage. I get yellow right there on the back, so I decide to go for his turret instead, and hit the back of his turret, right as he is turning his turret a little bit towards the front. And that means that his turret is completely flat when I shoot it, and just like the side of his turret, it will be penetrated every single time by my gun. It is that big. The KB-3 is on fire, but it is small numbers going up, so he will not die from this. As you can see, the fire goes out there. Take the shot, finish him off, so he doesn't have time to wake up, like always, with my... When I shoot someone who's AFK, they just suddenly wake up and start shooting me. Me. <laughs> Not anyone else. Me. And I ride very good. GG, gentlemen. And the AMX 5100 shows up, going for our base, so I just go... Nah. Let's just go cap. And that's what I do, because I won't be able to make it home. I think we cap a little bit. Or do... No, I think we get the whole base, actually. Maybe. But uh, we have plenty of tanks back there. And they have plenty of time to go out and, um, and get some shots into him. And the T-29 complains a little bit about him bouncing on too many things. But more than half of the team, the enemy team, could be penetrated by the um, the M6 uh, Top Gun, the 90 millimeter. So that I write that term. If you got that from the M6, then it's it doesn't because it doesn't. It's good. It's good with the 90 millimeter. It's not awesome, but it's good. And as you can see, they crowd the uh, 100. I think maybe they get him. Maybe not. Mm -mm. They get him. Good. And here we see the um, the score screens, and you can see both victory and draw earned me 116,000 credits. Only 32 credits between them, and the draw had an event where I got confederate, so I got 700 extra XP for that one. So the XP isn't um, something you can look at and say, oh, you, you, you get just as much for a draw as a victory. But as you can see here, I penetrated 11 times on both games, loss and win, uh, because a draw is just a loss for both. So um, there we have it. <laughs> I didn't plan on only shooting 11 times, or penetrating 11 times. If I had penetrated that um, the Black Prince, for instance, I would have gotten more uh, credits in the Secret Line game, but I didn't, and this is what turned out. And you can't even see or say that, hey, you got 1100 spotting damage on one side. Yeah, but I got four enemies detected on the other side, and I got uh, 19 uh, capture points on that one. So I don't think there's any difference between what you earn in a victory and a draw, which is a loss for both sides. So you earn what you earn, credit-wise. And that is why you should always go into a battle when you're only going to earn credits with the mindset of it doesn't matter if I lose or something else. Um, I'm here to earn credits and that's what you should focus on.